what's going on San Antonio? Today's episode of Elder Eats is all about tacos and chamoy. I'm taking you on a taco tour across San Antonio with YouTube star Chris Flores, AKA Eat Migos. This is like literally the David Elder taco <laughs> challenge that we're doing here today. We visit two classic taco spots, one newcomer, and a frozen treat spot that will have you saying, my, my teeth are frozen. So you won't need a fork or knife today, but get ready for some delicious tacos. This is Elder Eats. Our first stop is at Garcia's Mexican Restaurant located off Fredericksburg Road. My parents started in 1962. We've been working here since we were kids. It's something that we love. It's really a good uh, way to start the morning. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all, so we're out here at Garcia's Mexican Restaurant right here on Fredericksburg Road. They've been out here since 1962. I don't want to eat it, it's so pretty. <laughs> Let's dig into it, man. I think the first one, uh, we're gonna do the quesada and cheese. Let's do it, man. That's one of my favorite mixtures. The quesada and cheese, cheers. <laughs> that tortilla is amazing. Yeah. I tasted that first. And then the, the texture of that meat, you can tell that it's been cooked for a long time, man. Yeah, you, the, it's very tender. The tortilla's made fresh, you can tell. When I asked them, I was like, what's your most unique one? They said, our pollo verde is one of our, our unique ones. And I've never heard of one of these before, have you? Me neither, <laughs> me neither. The chicken version of the guisada, right? <laughs> exactly, man. It does got a little bit of a bite at the end, though. Right, I think that green sauce is the act. This, I think this is what they actually cook it with. Woo! Fill it on my chest. <laughs> they say they're cooking their eggs with hash browns and it, they cook it for hours. Check that bad boy out. This is not your traditional egg taco. Now, I am going to put some salsa on. You want to put some salsa on it? Yeah, definitely. Here's a habanero. Um, <laughs> it's seven in the morning, so I don't think I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm not going to jump in yet with habanero. Coming up. Chris and I wrap up our visit at Garcia's and continue our taco tour of San Antonio. So don't go anywhere. Elder Eats will be right back. Garcia's Mexican restaurant has been serving delicious tacos to customers since 1962. They probably one of the best Tex-Mex places I have ever been to. They say they're cooking their eggs with hash browns and they cook it for hours. Check that bad boy out. This is not your traditional egg taco. Cheers and good luck. There you go. Our potato egg is different because we make ours different than everybody else's. Everybody else seems to have a cube potato with uh, egg mixed with egg. Ours is a um, slice on a mandolin. So it kind of looks like a potato chip and it just makes it creamier and butterier and it just tastes a lot better. Well, that's weird. So you know you get that hat, what is it called? Like hash mix or whatever? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's exactly what it is, but with potato as the hash brown. The green salsa is, is awesome. So this place is wild, all right? Because it's uh, 7, what, 7.30 in the morning and we just got offered ghost pepper sauce. <laughs> She was actually in one of those fireman suits that shiny <laughs> when she brought it out. Last but not least, we have the brisket taco. Oh, here, here we go. go. Here we go. Dave, I'll take over the show yeah, yeah. if uh, <laughs> that kills you, man. Yeah, yeah, There's a little guac. You got the pico de gallo on there. There we go. Cheers. Ghost pepper sauce at 7.30 in the morning. I got my phone on standby EMS. So I got 911. I just need a hit call. <laughs> That's it, man. That's it. I would probably not order this either, but I'm glad that they brought it out because right. early in the morning, brisket's not something maybe for lunch, but this is actually very, very good. Yeah. I'm be and the meat, you can tell. I mean, it's got that smoke, hickory flavor. Oh, so good. If you come out to Garcia's, if you haven't already been out here, it's a San Antonio staple, but lots of sauces um, options. I mean, they got the ghost pepper if you're wild. And the, the tacos are solid, man. They're making some really good different stuff out here. You come out here, you can get brisket for breakfast. I'm telling you, man. Uh, I, I, this is a must come. You have to come here and try this place out. Now, we're headed to the northeast side of San Antonio at a little taco spot called Tejas Cafe. <laughs> Tejas Cafe is a restaurant my dad built about 27 years ago. He started out in business around 1983, just moved around San Antonio building restaurants, um, picking them up in business, reselling. He decided to stick with this location. It's been his number one location 
for the 27 years that we've been here. Out here at Teos Cafe. Oh my gosh, those are big. That's no joke. Oh my gosh, oh my God, this is a workout. Look at the size of this. Is this a joke, man? <laughs> I feel like Dave is just like, hey, we're gonna start at one place and the tacos are gonna grow <laughs> every other place we go. Cause yeah, he's like, I'm gonna make Chris pass out and sleep in the car. So they make all their tortillas fresh with this really cool machine that actually has like a big fire burning inside of it and everything. All three of my kids could probably eat one taco if I came here and bought <laughs> tacos for them, man. Let's do the asado a la mexicana. Oh my God. Man, that is so good. Flavor explosion after flavor explosion. You got the peppers, you have the onion flavor, everything sauteed perfectly. The meat is just loaded with flavor and seasoning. This is like straight out of your kitchen that like oh. your grandma or your parents or someone makes. So now second to last, we have the carne quesada and cheese. And this one that I was told, this is like the taco to get here. Look at this thing though. What, it's just dripping everywhere. Here we go. If I was inserting a song here, it would be Los Lonely Boys Heaven. Because let me tell you, the way that tastes right there is amazing. This is that block cheese that they're grating on top of it and it's melting as it's touching the carne guisada. This is probably now one of my favorite taco spots in San Antonio, what do you think? Absolutely, actually, I didn't know what to expect. I never heard of this place. This is one of the best kept secrets of Dave Elder, let me tell you right now. <laughs> this is the final one. I'm gonna move this big boy plate here off the side. Now we got the barbacoa. You know, this is fitting because this weekend is the barbacoa Big Red Fest, which Dave and I are both yeah. judges for. That's right. So you guys, make sure you come on out to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, it's only $5 to get in. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I know. Barbacoa. Very good. Oh, wow. Moist, flavorful, tender. One thing I want to hit, there's not a lot of manteca or oil coming right. from it, right? Which that's what I, I like that. Yeah, I like that as well. Tejas Cafe, man, what do you think overall? Man, amazing place. A, if you're not, even if you're not in the area, you're gonna have to come and try this out because these mammoth tacos, come on. To say too, looking at the menu, I mean, you're looking at a starting point of only $2 for one of these monster tacos. I mean, and it goes up from there, but you're gonna get it, you're gonna pay for it because you're getting this basically two tacos at any other restaurant. I'm definitely bringing the fan back to this. There you go. Coming up, we go inside a taco joint that's putting a modern twist on traditional favorites. So stay right here on Elder Eats. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Elder Eats. Well, as you can see in front of us, the taco tour continues and we are out here at Torchy's at Lincoln Heights. It is an Austin based taco company, but they're calling San Antonio home. Torchy's was founded in 2006 out of a food trailer with a man with a dream, Mike Ripka. He came from a huge culinary background and he started the food trailer with a Vespa and started handing out tacos in downtown Austin, Texas. I always got to get the one. This is the trailer park right here and they're keeping it classy on that building. There it is. Ooh. That one looks good, right? Man, it looks amazing. Yes. And, and actually, I think this, the story behind it's pretty cool. It was a guy who was digging through their trash and uh, I think the owner just kind of said, hey, what do you think about this? And he, he put the, the trash can together. That's how it got its name. Are you, are you, are you, no, I'm serious. <laughs> I didn't know if you were telling a joke or not. <laughs> He's like, no. Uh -huh. Also on the list right here for us to eat today is the Tokyo Drift. This one is like a, it has a, a like a Asian style pulled pork on there. And we also have, I mean, this is award-winning queso right in front of us as well. And um, it won't be complete without some delicious margaritas. I'm gonna go, take man. a sip right now. Yeah, we have to, man. <laughs> yeah. We can't hold it and not take a That's sip, right. right? There you go. I really like the atmosphere when I come here. The tacos are really great. It's really interesting combinations. My taco came with a marmalade sauce on top. That was amazing. I'm from the Rio Grande Valley, so like I know tacos. Yeah. And so these were actually really good tacos. <laughs> Let's do the uh, Tokyo Drift. Comes with a lime or a lemon wedge, I use it. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it wouldn't be there if they didn't want you to use it. <laughs> That's right. I like about Torchies is they've taken a classic dish which is tacos with a modern twist which I think is fabulous I mean they've really thought outside the box I mean who really thinks of these Asian kind of tacos right and that they were gonna be good very good delicious food like we said and also there's an event coming up there is yeah 
It is the Texas Taco Tequila Festival. And um, we have someone here who is the uh, not only the authority, but one half of the per company that is actually putting it on. What's it per company? The per company. <laughs> so I would have said company prior to this, <laughs> but now that I've had this, it's per company. And now with us today is Mike Niami with Inspire Productions, and you're actually putting on the event coming up here, sponsored by Torchies. The Texas Taco Tequila and Music Festival. And it's all about the tacos, you know, so we're here at Torchies. Uh, these guys just put down some amazing tacos. Torchies is going to be doing a festival exclusive taco, which is you're going to have to come out and, and get a taste of that. It's here in Texas, our culture, if you have tacos, if you have tequila, and you're Mexican, all you need is a front yard, but they've given us a whole stadium. So man, we have a whole stadium to have a great party, really good music, Los Lonely Boys, come on, man. Thank you so much, we really appreciate it. We look forward to the event. You guys, get on here, get on the social media that you see on the bottom, have your chance to win. these. We have two to give away, the 10 people party packs going on, and also make sure you can also go onto the website, 50% off when you mention Elder Eats and the promo code. You guys gotta do it. Go out there and have a lot of fun. If you don't love them, you will at least leave them away liking them a whole lot <laughs> and having a whole new respect for That's torchies. Right. Get some respect for torchies and come on out if you haven't tried them yet. Coming up, we go inside a Frozen Treats food truck serving up all things sweet and covered in chamoy. Elder Eats will be right back. in the parking lot at PetSmart at the Alamo Ranch area off 1604 is a food truck serving up delicious frozen treats covered in chamoy. Well, we started about a year ago. So I told my wife, you know what, why not start something of our own? Do saved ice, good quality with gourmet flavors, and then also put a little Mexican twist to it. Here at our last stop today on Elder Eats, Chris and I were out here at a little place called Iced Up, and yes, they have delicious treats. They're out here in the Alamo Ranch area, and uh, we're gonna be diving in. You already got one ready to go, look I'm at you. We're friends, but uh, this we're not gonna share. No, no, no. This is called the Strawberry Banana Delight. It has a little bit of vanilla ice cream, or has a lot of vanilla ice cream on the bottom, and then it has the strawberry uh, Italian ice, and then you have banana slices, freshly cut, you have a little bit of whipped cream and a cherry on top because everything's better with a cherry on top, right? That's it, man. You I'm ready? ready to. I've been ready, bro. <laughs> okay, on, okay, okay. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything. Mm, this is really good. When you get the vanilla ice cream with the Italian, the strawberry Italian ice, and the whipped topping, and you get a banana on there, woo! That's gonna wake you up. What I honestly feel about this, I wouldn't have ordered this, but it was suggested. And I'm so glad, and I think that this is probably what I would order first when I come back. Mm. Get a mango nada anywhere in San Antonio, but what makes us different is we have our mango nada, which is really good, but we actually have something called a cucumber lime nada. All right, y'all, so the strawberry dessert was delicious, and now we're here with the cucumber lime nada. <laughs> the cucumber lime nada! <laughs> and this has three different scoops of the cucumber lime Italian ice, and then you have the green and red chamoy all stacked in there as well, a little bit of Lucas on top. I'm excited, let's go in let's for this it, one. Dude. You know what Chungo is? No. So it's a raspa with chamoy or pickle juice and a Chinese candy in the center. Okay. So basically this is like that mm. upgraded. It and tickles the inside of my nose. You got the triple dilly, and it's cucumber, lime, strawberry, and mango Italian ice. You have the sour, little strings or sour, sour rope, whatever. What would you call that? Sour bell. Of all the things I couldn't have listed, <laughs> I'm all sour string and ropes. No, sour belts. If you like sour, sweet things, this is heaven. This is probably my most favorite thing oh, yeah. I've ever had. <laughs> what a great day, right? Elder Eats will be right back. Chris, well, this is the end of the road for us here for this trip, and we're gonna end it off on a sweet note with the iced up chamoy apples. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and we have a all barbecue episode of Elder Eats coming up next week, so look out for that one. And uh, we're gonna eat this now, find us. <laughs> Thank you.